Hey guys, Brett Williams here from LifeWithOptions.net and on today's video we're going to talk about victim mentality, victim mindset, victim state. Oh, and a bit of a disclaimer, I'm not talking about if you've been victimized by another person like indecently or anything like that, it's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the state of mind. So what is victim mentality? Victim mentality and negative self-talk are similar, although they are slightly different at the same time. Negative self-talk is the words in which you're saying to yourself, you know, the I'm not good enough, the I can't do this, the she's prettier than me or he's prettier than me, whatever it is. You know, it's those words in which you're talking to yourself in your mind. Whereas the victim state is more to do with the energetic way of being in that you're showing up. You know, it's very compressed, it's, um, it's an unconscious way of being. It's a, you know, a cry for help, an unconscious cry for help. And it is something that can be disabling. It can take away all of your power. It can take away everything and just have you almost paralyzed in being able to take actions. Now, I know for myself, <laughs> as much as I don't like to admit it, victim state is something that I'm very, very familiar with. I go into the victim state so often and so easily it's been an ongoing process to understand it for myself. It's being able to be comfortable in it, understanding where it shows up, because at the end of the day, negative self-talk precedes victim state, okay? So when you start having those, those negative self-talk that you're telling yourself you're not good enough, you're not this, you're not that, it will then flow into the energetic state of being in that, that victim state. One regular occurrence as to where it might come up from is, you know, you're scrolling social media. These days, social media is one of the, probably the worst things that we can have access to because you can be sitting in, you know, an isolated area by yourself, sitting there and comparing your, you know, your bad times with somebody else's highlight reel. And then that starts the negative self-talk, oh, their life is so amazing, you know, this, that, and the other. And then all of a sudden you're in this energetic state, which is just so poor me, I'm, you know, I'm not good enough, I'm not everything like that. So you're almost giving your power away to the, the world around you and saying, you know, I'm not capable of being able to achieve these things. And it's more than just the words, as I say, because it's how you carry yourself, your posture shrinks, you become very, uh, Put it this way, have you ever walked into a room, and I'm not saying this is the specifics, but have you ever walked into a room and there's just been somebody that's walked in and all of a sudden the energy is shifted? You know, it's not uncommon and it's not unknown that we are such energetic beings that you can have that energetic sense from somebody else, that they're a little bit off, they're, there's something about them. You know, and maybe they are going through something, but I'm sure you've had that experience where you've walked into a room and the whole energy has shifted because one other person's walked in. Maybe they're, you know, in a high positive state or maybe they're in a very low negative state. But either way, you felt that dynamic shift in the actual room itself. This is kind of what I'm talking about here. So when you're walking around and you've got that victim sort of badge that you're wearing around, um, you probably find that people are starting to isolate themselves from you or avoid you. And the thing there is that that just fuels it. So what I want to encourage for yourself is that have, have an awareness around it and start to understand how you can break that state for yourself. Like for me, the, one of the biggest things that I find when I'm in that state, I'll ask myself one specific question. What can I do right now that is going to move me forward towards my goal? Because for me, the victim state and the victim mindset generally shows up when I'm feeling unfulfilled in what I'm doing, what I'm out to achieve with these videos and life with options and um, you know whatever else might be that I'm up to it at life at the time. And sometimes I'm not getting the results and all of a sudden it, it start, I start to shrink and I start to become self-conscious and I'm like, oh, it's just not working. This is just not good enough. Like, what else can I be doing? And when I honestly ask that question to myself, it might be that I got to sit down and create a video right now because that's what's going to tick the box for myself to know that I'm moving forward towards my goal. Maybe for yourself, it's just simply getting out of the office or, you know, going and sitting in a cafe and being around people or perhaps going to the gym, working out, whatever it is, ask yourself that question when you find yourself in that victim state where you're 
you're really poor me and all you're wanting to do is have the whole world show everything up on a platter and just give it to you because at the end of the day unfortunately as much as I've hoped for it so much in the past it's just not gonna happen the world is not going to show up for you just because you're feeling a little bit inadequate or a little bit insecure it's just not going to I've <laughs> Believe me, I've asked on many, many occasions and I've wanted it so much, but what I've realized is that you've actually got to take the action to be able to create it. And I'm sure that's not something new, but what I understand is that when I've been in my lowest of times and I've been so deep in that victim state, that it is so hard to actually motivate yourself to, to take an action. But I want to encourage you and I want to reassure you that you have the strength within to be able to take that action and start moving out of that energetic state. You know, Tony Robbins talks about it all the time and it's all about changing your state and whether that is going for a walk, exercising, whatever. Start to understand it for yourself because ultimately it's not going to be the one thing that will support you. When you are in that victim state, you're so closed off to the world, you're so closed off to opportunities and possibilities and even answers. That's one of the things that I find for myself. The only answers that you tend to find when you are in that victim state is the answers that validate the reason you're in that state. And <laughs> You know, sure, in that time, it, it just shows you. It's just piling on the, the proof as to why I'm not good enough or why I'm this or why I'm that and why this is not going to work. But the truth of it is that you are capable and you are able to and you have the ability and you have what's inside of you. Perhaps get out a book, write down, start to understand what triggered that particular moment. Maybe it was that, you know, somebody didn't respond to a text message or you were spending a little bit too much time on, on Instagram scrolling through everybody's highlight reel. There's something there that actually sparked it. So understand it because I wanna empower you to be able to move through this yourself because when you can regulate your own internal state and understand what's going on for yourself and how to be able to move through it, then you can start to consciously create your world. And that's what life is all about. It's not about unconsciously reacting to the world around us and blaming the world around us. I know that's what I do when I get into a victim state. It's like, oh, they didn't do this, they didn't do that. But no, it's not about that at all. It's all about creating the power and having the power in your own hands to be able to create your world. And this is something that I talk about in the Path to Self Mastery program. It's all about understanding your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, your triggers, ego, your victim mentality, everything like that. So if you are struggling with it, then I'll put the link below so you can go and check that out and start to uncover it for yourself because life's not fun when you're unconsciously reacting to the world. Life becomes fun when you're consciously creating. And I should say, when you do ask your question, when you are in that state and you ask yourself, what action can I take right now? The other key part of that is not to question that answer. If your intuition is telling you to go and create a video, go and write that blog, make that phone call, go to the gym, go for a walk, be around people, whatever it is, then don't question that. Stop what you're doing, get your stuff out, don't even think about it, and just take the action and you'll be surprised just by taking that action all of a sudden you feel accomplished you feel fulfilled and you're back on track to be able to create your life and keep going after your dreams keep up moving forward so guys if you got any value out of this one like it share it comment it show it some love and i'll look forward to seeing you on the next video cheers